Okay, question number two. Um, so I'll just go ahead and briefly read through it. Uh, so basically it says, by discharging electric sparks into a laboratory chamber uh, that consisted of water vapor, uh, uh, hydrogen gas, methane, and ammonia, Stanley Miller obtained data that showed that a number of organic molecules, including amino acids, could be synthesized. All right, so uh, if you guys remember this, this is basically the Yuri Miller experiment. I'll just say EXP. And basically what it said is if you take inorganic molecules and you expose them to like basically early earth uh, environment, uh, how do I say this, conditions, so like sparks, um, what else was there, heat, and I think that's basically it. Basically what it showed was that you can get out of that, uh, what he referred to as like a primordial soup, you can get what are called amino acids. And then hopefully you know that amino acids are like the building blocks to life, right? Okay, so um, let's go ahead and read the rest of the question. Miller was attempting to model early earth conditions as understood in the 1950s. The results of Miller's experiment best support which of the following hypotheses. So again, basically to summarize that experiment, um, you know, inorganic molecules, when you expose them to the correct conditions can produce amino acids. And the traditional um, interpretation of this is that you can get life um, from basically non-life under the correct conditions. So let's go ahead and see if there's any answer choice that best suits that. So answer is A says that the molecules essential to life today did not exist at the time Earth was first formed. Um, okay, I mean, that's not correct <laughs> um, because this experiment assumes that they did exist, right? Um, or, you know, the, the, at least the basic molecules. Okay, and then answer is B says that the molecules essential to life today could not have been carried to the primordial Earth by comet or meteorite. So, I mean, maybe they could have, right? I mean, that, that's one interpretation, so that's not correct. Uh, the molecules essential to life today could have formed under early Earth conditions. This one right here looks pretty good, so we'll, we'll keep an eye on that one. And then D says the molecules essential to life today were initially self-replicating proteins that were synthesized approximately 4 billion years ago. Okay, so uh, no, right, there's no evidence from this experiment that these proteins are able to self-replicate. And actually there's no evidence of proteins. There's just evidence that you get amino acids, which are the uh, precursor to proteins. So therefore, answer choice C is correct. And hopefully that makes sense. Um, yeah, that is a correct answer. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. And yeah, I hope you keep watching these videos. Uh, hopefully it'll be helpful to you. I'll see you guys in the next one.